Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Well, here I am in what will be the future parish garden. And as you can see, we are making major progress. Major progress. As we pan around here, I'll show you what's been done. Now, hopefully next week we'll get our pavers in and then shortly after that we'll add the other features uh, that's going to make it a beautiful, beautiful uh, celebration and a place to celebrate for our parish, our parish garden. So that's first item on the agenda. Second on the agenda is you're probably aware of Proposition 1 that's coming uh, before the voters in November. Now, Proposition 1 would make sure that it's enshrined, that abortion as a legal right is enshrined in the uh, California Constitution and with an openness to receiving people uh, from all over the country to come and to uh, take advantage of the uh, abortion right that would be in California. Now, the Catholic Church, you know what we think about abortion uh, and how we think that from life is precious from the very moment of conception, not just when the baby has a heartbeat, but from the very moment of conception. We believe the soul is in that new little life and that that is a person that is life given by god and that becomes the human being that you and i are so uh, because of that the catholic church of course is totally against um, this new legislation that's being proposed and we would hope that our catholic families throughout the, the, the parish and the diocese uh, would join together uh, and vote no on, on this proposition. Um, because this is everything against everything that, that we believe in uh, as Catholics. And so I would like to communicate that to you. We have to pray about it. And we realize that there's many people who get their information from other sources and who have a different view to what the Catholic Church has. So I think we've got to pray. And so one of the things we do is we have, we're starting a novena. And the novena starts um, very shortly. Um, when do I think? When does it start? Right at the top of the back of the page, September 20... 29th for nine days 29 for nine days you can pray this novena on your own at home or you can join with other people on a zoom there's a there's a zoom link in the bulletin that's going to help you to join with other people if you wish in praying this novena so and we also have these signs no on prop one and we would encourage families to take home these signs and put them in their gardens and put them on the streets, close to the streets, uh, as a sign of support for our Catholic Church's point of view on Proposition 1. Also, another point on the agenda is another novena, a novena for St. Francis that starts, when does it start? Oh. It's in the bulletin. <laughs> it's in the bulletin. But let's see, it's in the chapel, right? And it's in our chapel, our little chapel. 6.15 p.m. 6.15 p.m. Except Sunday. Except Sunday, and it begins on September the 25th. When is the 25th? I think it's Sunday. 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 It begins on Sunday. Uh, in the chapel. I believe Sunday evening it comes, the two Sundays is going to be after uh, the 6 o'clock mass so it's at 7.15 
But Monday through Saturday, it's at 6.15 in the Friary Chapel. Uh, we're praying at the novena in preparation for St. Francis' Feast. So thank you all. Have a great week. We have a lot of things coming up. We've got the golf tournament on Monday, and we have a great number of golfers playing. Uh, a shout out to our dear parishioner, Helene Quillacy, who tomorrow, Saturday, will receive a special award from the St. Vincent de Paul Society and all of these good things that are going on. Thank you. Have a great weekend. See you next week. Bye-bye.